All right, guys, welcome back. Joseph James, SchoolTrade.com. Guys, our blog URL, SidewaysMarkets.com, and we're talking more about our favorite futures markets we trade every day in our live trade room. And the video today here is on the mini Dow futures. Now, remember, if you're watching this video anywhere else besides our blog, either click the link below the video or head to SidewaysMarkets.com, and you can get more information on our free trial or come out and join us in a live trade room. Let's talk about the Dow. The Dow is one of the most popular markets. It's a member of the E-mini family. The symbol is the YM. And this trades both electronically and in the open outcry pit on the CME floor. Now, this is where we start to lose interest in the, in the, in the Dow. The tick value, right, one, $1 per tick. So you'll see typically, right, 11,000, 11,501, 11,503. Now, the cost per tick is the concern. It's only $5 per tick. Now, the margin's nice and low. Margins are only about 500 bucks per contract. So to trade four lots, you'd only need about $2,000. The benefits of trading the mini dial is that low cost per tick. But guys, that's where the benefits end. That's actually the same as the drawback, the low cost per tick. This is not going to be considered a very efficient way of earning income. Right? The Dow is going to have a little bit lower volume. Okay? The Dow is actually very highly correlated to markets such as crude, and the DAX, the FDAX off the Eurex exchange. Anybody who trades the Dow right, also does pretty well on the DAX because the Dow is the top 30 companies here in the US. The DAX market, top 30 companies in Germany. So they're going to trade somewhat similarly. But big differences here, though, guys. Okay, I want to make a real big point here. The cost per tick of $5 per tick is very similar to trading Forex with a spread. If I take a four contract trade, it's going to cost me five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars. And then, right, at five dollars per tick, I'm going to have to make four ticks of profit just to see right the green in this trade. So if I pay around five dollars commission, four contracts, that means roughly the number of contracts that I'm trading, I will have to achieve that in profit just to simply break even which means this is not a very efficient way of earning income. What I always tell people is, is remember, the cost per tick does not lower your risk-reward ratio. Just because the cost per tick is $5 does not by any means mean that this is a better market to be trading, especially not for new traders. I'm always a little bit frustrated when I hear new traders are told to, to trade the YM because of the low cost per tick. Guys, that should not be the reason why we learn to trade. Because guess what happens? When we take a loss, it compounds that loss because we throw in the cost of taking the trade as well. So that's why I say it's not a very efficient way of earning income because you're going to have to do more with less. Now, if you like trading the mini Dow, try the Russell. Right? The Russell's $10 per tick. It has the same great patterns, more volume, and the Russell is known as the day trader's market. Okay, So if you like the mini Dow, I would suggest try the Russell. Or try the crude. Okay, now what's the best time to trade? If you want to trade it, our method will work. But again, like I said, I think this is not going to be the most efficient way of earning income. You'll trade from 9.30 to 12.30 for the U.S. morning session, and then the afternoon session from 3.30 to 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, Monday through Friday. My favorite pattern on the Dow is the trend continuation pattern through the highs. One of the characteristics of the Dow is we're going to be breaking the highs when we test them. So I'll look for a breaker pattern, or what we call a trend continuation pattern, buying those highs. My favorite time frames in the Dow, I don't scalp the Dow. The Dow is far too whippy, far too unpredictable to scalp the Dow. I look for day trades and position trades in the Dow, and I like to use a 13 range for day trading, a 21, 34 range for swing trading or position trading, and don't forget, I can also supplement that for a 30 minute or a 60 minute as well. All right, guys, so once again, the Dow, our methods work wonderfully with it, but I think we can do better. It's not the best way to earn an income. It's not the most efficient because the cost per tick and the cost of getting into a trade is almost identical. Symbols the YM, it trades in the CME group, and as always, guys, right, that's the mini Dow. Check out more information about the mini Dow on our blog, sidewaysmarkets.com, or click the link below the video, guys. If you click the link below the video, that will take you guys right to the uh, contract specifications here on the CME website. All right, guys, learn more about the Dow. We'll see you guys next time. Bye bye for now.